man it man if you told me just a year ago that people would be talking about the WNBA this much I'd I'd have told I'd have told you please <laughs> but I believe this is what I believe about this whole Caitlin Clark her getting fouled whether or not she's being targeted targeted even though she is being targeted but I'm just saying the whole co controversy right <laughs> I'm saying it like that the whole controversy behind that people disagreeing people talking about Angel Reason I believe all of this this is good for the WNBA all of this Chad Ochocinco was talking about this on Nightcap the other day. He says just all the the way we're talking about this, even the you know the the, the drama behind you know the beefs between the players and Caitlin Clark and whether or not what what Clay, Caitlin Clark is going to do and her team and and how other teams are responding to her, how her her how her team is selling out mad tickets, they're, they're raising prices on ninjas and all this stuff. I think this is all good for the WNBA. All of this, all of this, you know what I mean. So shout out to the WNBA for making a comeback that I, I thought. That, because, th th like, the WNBA has basically been a charity league for so long that I'm, I'm, I'm actually legitimately happy for the WNBA. <laughs> like, because uh, I, hey, I'm like, wow, they're they're actually getting eyes, like where the cat, like where the casual viewers like myself are actually paying attention. What's happening to WNBA? Like now, I'm actually checking some of the scores. I know some of the team names. I know some of the team players now. It's crazy. If you told me I'll be doing this last year, I'd be like, you must be out show. Man, like Deion Sanders would say, he he says mind like mend. <laughs> That's how he says it. But anyway, um, here on first take, you got this uh chick here. What's her name? Monica McNutt <laughs> is trending after a heated discussion with Stephen A. Smith regarding Caitlin Clark in the WNBA. So this should be good. I haven't seen the video yet. I haven't seen the clips yet. I, I promise you. So this is a live reaction to this. So let's see what she has to say. Let's see what Stephen A. Smith has to say. I don't know. If Shannon Sharp said anything, but let's 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 see. Let's see what's going on. Let's let's see what's going on here. I don't know. She shut Stephen A. Smith up. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. So let's 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 take a listen to the world of being a woman, Stephen A. And how you have to dance about your word choice and you have yes. to please everybody and anybody as you navigate your being. We are talking about the world's greatest. How about being a black man. Okay, being black. Hold on one second. Have you, have you... So so this is what I'm saying to y'all though, and I know we got to go to break, and we didn't necessarily go there. And... Oh, oh oh uh, fair use by the way. God damn, I always be forgetting. Fair use, fair use. So it looks like this is where we're going right now. <laughs> uh, the vi the victim Olympics is already starting between the women uh, between women and black men <laughs> already. So let let's 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 continue. Maybe we should. There are so many layers in this conversation around the way that it's being discussed. When you, right, no, no, no. And yes, Shannon, I know y'all are going to say you know, and Stephen A. I know you're going to you, you just shared that you talked about the WNBA to the world of being a woman, Stephen A. Well, I'll say Stephen A. Smith knows better than most because he got suspended for saying the truth. <laughs> like, like, um, remember when Stephen A. Smith got suspended for just saying, like, look, man, um, um, I think it was in 2014 or 2015 when he was just talking about domestic violence. Oh, sure, sorry, sorry, DV, and he was saying, look, nobody should be putting their hands on anybody. And he said there was another. He's basically was like, there's another side to this that we don't talk about. If if you got women, um, um, what, what, what's 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 the term? What's the term? I'm I'm blanking on the term, but it's like if you're uh uh agitate basically women agitating the situation, you know what I mean? And and the stats actually prove pr uh proven right when you actually look at the CDC stats that women like 70% of the time in these these situations, they initiated it. It's just that they get hurt the most because men can cause the most damage physically when fisticuffs are involved. So he was talking about both sides of the situation, and because Michelle Beadle was so mad at Stephen A. They kind of got into it on Twitter, and because of that spout on Twitter, they ended up suspending Stephen A. Smith. So yeah, Stephen A. Smith is literally the king of dancing around his words. He he really can't talk about the stuff that he wants to. <laughs> so yeah, Stephen A. would definitely know about having to dance around with words. So whoever, what's her name, Monica McNutt, I don't think she understands. <laughs> like Stephen A. Smith, he always got to dance around his words. He always got to preface his comments because he's always he's always afraid of getting he's he's afraid of getting suspended again. That's why he doesn't even talk about. Anytime if something happens to a woman outside of Dana White, right? Anything anything happens to a woman, he's very careful on how he chooses words because he don't want to get suspended again. Oh, let's go to the next clip. Oh, there's another clip. So there you, go. you guys may not have said everybody, but the prevailing sentiment for folks that are just joining the WNBA and following women's sports is unfair to the women of this league, to your point, who have laid the groundwork for Caitlin Clark to come in and now take it to the next level. That's all I'm saying in these conversations. Kennedy Carter's behavior is not indicative of the entire league. We are still talking about competition where you are allowed to get a little extra elbow in if you are competing and you do it within the parameters of the game. You guys may not have said everybody.
Okay, fair use, fair use again. Let's go to the next clip. The after game that. is physical. Caitlin is helping to grow the league. These women understand that, but she cannot be babied as a rookie. That's all I'm at. All right. Who talks about the, who talks about the WNBA? Who talks about women? Who talks about women's sports more, more, than, more than first day? Stephen A, respectfully, with your platform, you could have been doing this three years ago if you wanted to. Wow. All right, we got wow. go to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, you know you're my shows? guy, but who does more for the, the Stephen A, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Wow. The <laughs> <laughs> Stephen A. Smith said, "Wow, wow. Um, I don't think women still they don't they don't understand how this works. This is a ratings business. They're gonna talk about who brings the most ratings. And I hope Monica McNutt, right? Like, they were covering Ronda. I, I don't think she understands. Like, when Serena Williams was dominating, were you guys complaining about <laughs> Serena Williams dominating the news? Right? When Venus Williams, like, when, like I'm telling you, like when Serena." was doing her thing were, were people complaining about her just getting too much ratings when ronda rousey had her little stint of five minutes of fame and she was bringing the money that she was bringing to to to, to ufc like i i don't i, I <laughs> you know it's you know monica mcnutt she might be a bit i'm not going to completely disrespect her because i kind of under, i understand what she's saying like i don't think the WNBA player should be giving Caitlin Clark per se special treatment, like a Tom Brady treatment. I, I'm I am in vehement disagreement on that. You know, just uh, you know, disagree agreement on, on that. Like, you know, I I only say give Caitlin. You should only give Caitlin Clark Tom Brady treatment if like one of the players decide to really try to really hurt Caitlin Clark. Meaning if they're going below the belt. Meaning if they're aiming for her legs. If women start doing that Zaza Pachulia type BS. Then I think you should start implementing uh, a Tom Brady like, you know, Tom, the, the Tom Brady treatment that I don't think Tom Brady should be given or the other quarterback should be given in the NFL. I think they should actually give that to Caitlin Clark so they can save the WNBA in terms of long term when it comes to long term success of the WNBA when it comes to ratings and whatnot. But as long as the treatment that Caitlin Clark is getting is like above the legs, I or like basically chest and above, then it's fine. If she's just getting knocked down and pushed down, it is what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't really care about the WNBA like that. So I'm I'm gonna just keep it. And plus, you know, I'm you know I have a soccer background, so I'm just so used to seeing even like the best players in the world. They'll be like 32 years old and they'll be the best players in the world, and they still get fouled a lot. They still get hacked. Like Messi would still get rugby tackles even at age 32, 33. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's the kind of world I'm coming from. Like I, like I still like. I would see Eden Hazard get fouled constantly, you know, when he was playing for Chelsea and Real Madrid. But, you know, so I'm I'm so used to seeing, you know, the best players in the world getting like getting the getting the treatment, if you know what I'm saying. So it, it is what it is. But I think Monica McNutt, though, she I, I don't think she understands this is a ratings business. So if they weren't covering the WNBA like that, it's because of the ratings wasn't there. First take was still covering you know, a lot of other women's events, but they, like, like women's tennis for, for certain, only for certain females because they, they bring ratings. So I remember they, they were, I remember first take back in the day, they was even covering, remember, um, the young black girl that was playing with the, with, with men. I forgot her name. I'm blanking on her name, but this was in 2014. She played in the little league world series. They even covered her. So anytime a woman is bringing in ratings sports wise, first take has covered it. Especially after the Stephen A. Smith con contro uh, controversy, when he didn't say anything wrong, they really try to cover that up and make it seem like they 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 overcorrected. So, but at the same time, WNBA wasn't bringing ratings like that, so they weren't talking about the WNBA, but they were definitely talking about other women's sports events if it brought in the ratings. You know what I mean? They were talking about Shikari Richardson. Come, come on, like they any, but like I said, this is a ratings business. So because they weren't talking about so in her in Monica's mind, <laughs> because they weren't talking about the WNBA, she believes that first take didn't do enough for women's sports. And actually, they overdid it, <laughs> in my opinion. But that's why I say you you cannot be, um, in my opinion, this is, this is what I believe here. The reason why Stephen A. Smith is saying, wow, wow, because they overdid it in terms of trying to promote other women in different sports. If it brought in a, even a little bit of ratings, they covered certain women. They would cover certain gymnasts. They was covering... Gabby Douglas, uh, Simone Biles, you know what I mean? They overdid it. It's just women's sports doesn't really bring the ratings 
except for certain ones like tennis when Serena Williams is doing her thing or track when Shakari Richardson is doing her thing, right? So, but anytime a woman was bringing in ratings, doing sports, First Take would cover it. And not just First Take, but many other shows too. Now, I see because the, the first, one of the comments that I see here is, it says, wow, is basically a woman making fun of a, uh, a man saying, wow, a man who was called to the front line for his BS, but she doesn't understand. They like first take was actually overdoing it in terms of any time a woman was doing well in sports and she was bringing even a little bit of ratings. First take would cover it. Yeah. I'm talking about ESPN would actually go overboard anytime any other woman would bring in ratings. So <laughs> that's why Stephen A. Smith was saying, wow. But, you know, in her in her mind, she's she's getting flashback with all the street ninjas that she's been with. Don't let attorney in front of McKnight like her, her profile. Don't be fooled by the attorney uh, in front of it. She I'm pretty sure she was dating street ninjas <laughs> when she was in her 20s. Let, don't don't get I, I'm sorry. I, I know. I know my sisters, man. I know my sisters. They be having whole criminal justice degrees and then dating drug dealers, <laughs> dating dudes straight out of out of, out of the penitentiary. Physical, Caitlin is helping to grow the league. These women understand that, but she cannot be babied as a rookie. That's all I'm at. So I do agree with that 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 sentiment. But right here, what Stephen A. Smith says here, uh, watch this. All right. Who talks about the Let's Who talks break. about the WNBA? Who talks about women? Who talks about women sports more more than the morning first day? Stephen A. Respectfully, with your platform, you could have been doing this three years ago if you wanted to. <laughs> wow! All right. yeah, so you, you wow! Know, so did you, you know you're my show? guy, but who does more for, than, than Stephen? Us? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Wow. The game. So that's why he's saying wow, because he's literally been suspended for like, and they were, they, they did every, like ESPN first take, they've been trying to do everything to prove that they're quote unquote, not uh misogynist, <laughs> so to speak. So I don't know what Monica McNutt is talking about. And plus there was nothing to talk about with the WNBA, no disrespect, but that's why Caitlin Clark is important. She's bringing the eyes of middle America. You know what I mean? And now with bringing new eyes to uh, a sport that's trying to rejuvenate itself you're going to get the normies so the normies are going to see the particularly the lesbian female WNBA players doing um things and they're just going to be like <gasps> they're going to be shocked at the treatment but that's just the butches are always going to act like what they are <laughs> you know what i mean so monica mcnutt has to understand that but for monica mcnutt to say that stephen a smith hasn't been doing enough for the WNBA that's very unfair because Stephen A. Smith was asking, was saying, who does more for women's sports than we do? And I think he was talking about ESPN in a whole. I don't know if he was talking about his show. Let me just, let me, let me hear that one more time. It's physical. Caitlin is helping to grow the league. These women understand that, but she cannot be babied as a rookie. That's all I'm at. All right. Who talks about the, who talks about the WNBA? Who talks about women? Who talks about women's sports more, more than the, the morning first day? So he's talking about the show. But yeah, he's, he's right. I don't know for, for that specific show. But yeah, first take, they've, they've done a lot. But he was talking about women's sports on first take. Stephen A, respectfully, with your platform, you could have been doing this three years ago if you wanted to. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, wow, wow. This is why this is why you don't like I'm in firm belief as a man, you don't, you're not supposed to uh preface your comments. You're not supposed to uh pander because first take was has been pandering for such a long time just for a a um a queen to just come on the platform. And act like they haven't been doing nothing for, for female sports. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Now, if you check the comment section, if you check if you check the comment section, they miss it. That's why I'm in I'm in I'm in belief of this. I don't I don't pander my I don't pander and I definitely don't press with preface my comments because for her to come on the first take platform and act like Stephen A. Smith and them haven't done nothing, that's why Shadow Sharp was like, just go to break. Just just go to break. <laughs> just go to break, you know. So somebody says she ate them right on up. The fact that black men want us in the in the in the women in the WNBA to put this white girl on a pedestal. Uh, that's that's not what they're saying. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> that's not what they're saying. <clears throat> somebody said no one cared about the WNBA before Caitlyn got there. Let's be honest. I'll say yes. <laughs> you know what I mean. So th that's so that's what that's basically Stephen A. Smith and probably Shannon Sharp's point that it's probably not best for you to try to hurt or just target unfairly Caitlin Clark because she's bringing the mainstream's eye to the to the to the um to the game to a dying league to a, well a league that's technically been dead for a while so that's basically what they're they're coming from and they're already coming from a point of they've said themselves they don't like the pandering that the NFL does for Tom Brady but they've said on record they understand why they did uh, the, the league has done it 
So it's so like it's not like this isn't some new a new mentality that they have for white women or <laughs> you know what I, you know what I mean? So so you know Monica McNutt, she's very I think she's very ignorant to that fact. So right here attorney McKnight says, "Wow, a man who was called to the front line for his BS." I don't think she understands. That's why I say he said he said wow because she dodged answering the question. That is true because he said for women's sports, who's done more for women's sports? And then she talks, she's talking about the WNBA, <laughs> you know. But um, like I said, I always tell men don't don't pander. So somebody says you know you lost the debate when all you say is wow, no, um, no, yeah. Like, like I said, that's why I don't even argue with with normies when it comes to these these things. Or or I'll say this: women in general, I don't I don't even don't like I, I'll say I'll say this: if you are a man and you're arguing with women. I'm talking about on a regular basis. You, you, you're, you're wasting your time. Like, like I'll say this: my platform here. I'm not here to argue with 304s. That's that. You're, you're better off. You're better off buying a seat at Home Depot, placing it against the wall, and then you hit your head against the wall 20 times. Set a timer for 60 seconds. Hit your head against the wall, not too hard, so you don't get concussion. Stop, take a break, talk at the wall for uh, 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 10 minutes, set the timer, and then once those 10 minutes are up, hit your head against the wall for, for another 60 seconds, rinse and repeat, and do that for a good three to four, uh, good three to four hours. You'd get better results <laughs> than arguing with a woman about anything, especially if it pertains to her passion or something that she's emotionally attached to. You're, you're not going to win that argument. <laughs> You know, but, uh, you know, shout out to Monica, Monica McNutt. I do understand the, 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 the fact of she doesn't want Caitlin Clark to get Tom Brady treatment. And I get that. Trust me. And I'm pretty, I'm telling you, Shannon Sharp probably understands that Stephen A. Smith understands that, you know what I mean? So, you know, this isn't new, but you know, it's probably not smart to be going out and targeting and hurting your cash cow because Caitlin Clark is bringing a different set of eyeballs to the league and like I said, when Magic Johnson and Larry Bird, when they saved the WN, when they saved the NBA, you know, they were bringing a different pair of eyeballs, you know, to the league. And when they had that platform, they made the game beautiful to watch for the most part, even though there was a lot of rough play. But they were like magical type players, magic with his passing, Larry Bird with his passing, his shooting. You know what I mean? They were magical type players. So you should be encouraging, you know, beauty within the play, not necessarily roughhousing and dirty play. You know what I mean? So that's that's basically what they're trying to say. Don't mess up your cash cow for the league. 